Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the second battle um, of the first day, November 30th, 1939. Today we find ourselves in uh, Manila. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Um, no, it's not the Philippines. It's uh, it's Finland. It's with an I, Manila. Um, so let me break down this... Uh, this fight here for today and let me go to the big overview map here is my initial setup you can see the Russians have these two victory locations here there's one that's neutral and the rest I control another similar map to the previous one we just played open fields with hills in between scattered here and there um, some really uh, one thing I noticed about this map is that there's pretty much only one uh, channel entry point which is right here uh, this place right here is pretty much going to channel them unless they want to go up these hills and fight me on top of them so you can see from my setup that I'm gonna hold my ground up here since I have the higher ground sort of unload into their position with these militia teams which are um, expendable <laughs> well no fin is expendable but if I have to lose a team in order to gain insight into uh, their strategy, it's going to be these poor militiamen. Um, but don't worry about them. These guys are uh, Estonian or Lithuanian. <laughs> so we don't really care about them. We care about the Finns. But, so I've got these infantry up here to sort of cover this northern region. I have a um, light machine gun, a Lati M26 down here. Uh, sort of, you know, covering again uh, this wide open area here while at the same time, if you notice, I'm not um, vulnerable to their fire. I can cover this field pretty well and also down here while uh, avoiding any direct fire from their initial starting position. So that's really good. I have my heavy machine gun covering this entire section right here, this open field. It's going to be brutal if they even try to take this victory location. I have my mortar unit and my sharpshooter, my sniper, whom I really have to make better use of. So I've got them here, again covering that entire section. I'm really hoping to make good use of them this time. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. This is my Nilla and this is Winter War. Okay, I don't see any movement yet. Oh, I do hear action though. Where's the action falling? I thought I heard that whistling sound. And I just saw something. Oh, here they are. Let's uh, open up. Yeah, let's go right into their position. Nice. So they're making a, a charge towards the valley. And we can't be having it. Let me hold off on the mortars until... Ooh, look at that smoke. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to need way more smoke than that. Ooh, right here, perfect opportunity to uh, use these mortars. So let's... Oh, they... Come on. Ooh, so close. These guys are coming into my position. ASAP. So let me get my rest, the rest of my dudes up here onto the top of this ridge. And let me switch my mortars to slow their advance right here. They're coming strong. Oh, look at that mortar. Nice. Uh-oh. Backup is arriving. Are these guys in position? Normally, I don't want to bunch up my guys because if they unload rockets or artillery, that's game over for me. And they're not stopping for anything. Where's my sniper at? No shot. He's got a shot right when they cross that line. So I brought up the rest of my rear to the ridge and we're doing a good job holding them down here. I have four more mortars left. Oh, that's what I wanted to avoid. Come on guys. Keep cool. Keep cool. You're going to make it. Just keep cool. Damn it. Oh, I can hear them screaming. No. <laughs> uh oh. Time to shift mortar around. I gotta hit this group down here in the middle. 
Come on, kill them. Two more mortars left. You know what? Screw that. There's a bunch right here. Come on, baby. Two mortars. Uh oh. There's. Looks like they're mortaring my mortar team. Uh oh, that's not good. Look at this concentration of red right here. That's crazy. It looks like my guys. Well, some of them survived. Wow, this is intense action up here. And they're still going after my mortar unit. And my sniper has a shot, so let's unload. His name is Lindholm. And where's my machine gunner? My heavy machine gunner? Yeah, he has a shot. Oh, nice. Look at him. He, this is my heavy machine gun right here. Wow, they really are going heavy after the valley. You're not going to get it, you bastards. And shifting position. Let's bring up these guys to this side of the ridge. I'm going to also bring up my other machine gun. I need to cover. Uh-oh. I'm getting overrun here. Come on, Linholm, at least suppress them. Come on, guys, get into position quickly. I'm going to have to retake the valley if they take it. Because this cannot be allowed to happen here. Come on, heavy machine gun. Drop these guys. There we go. Oh man, there's so many of them. It's just it's like rats coming out of the sewer. Uh oh, they're targeting these guys now. Do I have. Let's get closer on this ridge here. This heavy machine gun single handedly slowed their advance here. Come on, Lindholm. And let's drop the last mortar right on top of these guys. Ooh, so close. And we're out of mortars. Let's bring up my other elite infantry to... To the top of the ridge as well, right here. We're gonna have a complete line of fire into their position. And it looks like my guys have been overrun up here. Yep, everyone's dead. <laughs> and they're not stopping for anything. Okay, are you guys in position? Infantry team? I can get you guys into a good position here. That'd be awesome line of fire. I need to get you guys into good position, damn it. Listen to me. Oh, they took the valley. That's not good. Oh, if I could just get this other machine gun into position right here. I know I would waste them. Is that good enough? No. That'll work. Alright, load up, guys. There we go. And they're not stopping for a damn thing. <laughs> they could be an old grandmother. Attempting to cross the street and they wouldn't stop for it. Come on, Linholm, what's going on with you? Just bring up my platoon. I have infantry down here. What can I do with these guys? Well, um, I'm going to have to bring them up. Let's put them right here. Wow, they're charging like maniacs. Look at this guy. There's a trail of dead bodies. Well, he's just trying to be a hero about this and of course we don't like heroes in the army so we're gonna drop him <laughs> uh... i said we don't like heroes in the army so somebody drop him please somebody please drop him he's still going 
He's on the death wish. And it's granted to him. Wow, this guy is just... I don't even know what he's trying to do. But he's doing it by himself. Damn it. I should have probably brought more heavy machine guns. There we go. Come on, guys. Hey, guys. So at this point in the uh, battle, it looks like uh, my sound card on my laptop <laughs> decided to betray me for unknown reasons. And so I had to go back and edit this portion of the sound at least so what you're hearing right now in the background is not the actual war sounds that occurred but just random ambient war sounds <laughs> that have nothing to do with my current battle just uh you know some war sounds i got off the net and uh furthermore the the comments and the narrative i gave were also lost and so I have to go back and re-comment what occurred during the fight and so continuing from what you're seeing on the screen right now uh, at this point I was still trying to slow their advance into that central sector of the map uh, I was trying to also retreat my troops from the north you can see that they were pretty much slaughtered and I think I had a a few number of survivors that I hoped would retreat. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, I had the soldiers in the south um, on that small hill there and I had hoped that they would enter the theater and hopefully uh, reinforce my defense along the central portion of the map. And so what I'm doing here is there you can see me there trying to include them into the battle and trying to position them in a very optimal place you can also see I uh, see there I am <laughs> trying to unload and uh, I'm also trying to include these guys in but they're in a firefight of their own and that's my maxim that just absolutely annihilated their troops and once again what you hear in the background are random ambient war sound <laughs> I believe they're actually taken from World War II so you know it's a little loyal to the uh, to what I'm playing here and that was I believe my elite unit and they were obstructed I guess by that forest so I moved them a little bit to the left hoping to optimize their line of fire I'm continuing to pound away at their troops you can see that I've accumulated a large number of uh, dead bodies there that uh, the Russians have and I'm still trying to retreat my surviving units from the north so I'm having them crawl away uh, it's an intense firefight going on still for that central portion right there yeah looks like they're really uncoordinated at this point they have several units and the survivors are, I guess, attempting to charge my position, which was suicide. And I let them know of that. <laughs> oh, you can bet I let them know it was suicide. And so, um, I don't blame them, though. If they run in my direction, I kill them. If they run in the opposite direction, the Russian generals wow there is a heavy firefight going on <laughs> <Don't play tough. laughs> no no it's actually very interesting to hear that um, oh so right there they're charging my units and I pretty much resigned myself with making a stand there was no point there was no way they were gonna outrun the Russian so I just made a final stand with those little units in the north and tried to at least give them some sort of cover and I believe there, yeah, I lost one or two. And um, I continue to uh, feed 
feed the Russians as much lead as I have. And in the north, I was really frustrated because I think two, oh yeah, there's two units, there's two guys you can see in the north. If you notice, they have their hands raised in the air. And that's because uh, they're broken. So, I guess they just decided they'd had enough of the war. They were going home. <laughs> so, that's kind of interesting. And I'm still trying to... Uh, incorporate my southern units and if you notice they have about one or two guys charging at me through the forest which during the game really pissed me off <laughs> because the audacity of such a move is uh barbaric <laughs> so there I am trying to take them out and we should be hearing some other random ambient war sounds very soon ah there they go and I managed to kill off one of the charging units actually no that was the previous one so there's two there uh, two heroes as I call them and they're almost on top of me and I can't seem to slow them down um, I believe I start throwing grenades there you go that little fire you see that was a uh, I think a Molotov cocktail so we fried him. Um, it's well, it's kind of funny actually. We sent him burning into hell. So I guess in some way we did him a favor. <laughs> we prepared him for his eternal resting place by uh, sending him there already on fire. <laughs> but uh, they're still charging my position, and the bodies continue to mount. And of course. They seem oblivious to the fact that their comrades are falling. They're either too stupid or too brave. Um, but I'm going to go with stupid. <laughs> but yeah, look at all those dead bodies in the north. Actually, the north. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, those, those bodies you see in the north are actually my own. Those are uh, the remnants of my militia. But the ones in the center... Those are all Russian. And they continue to charge my position. But now it's completely uncoordinated and just they're in disarray at this point. They kind of don't know what to do. <laughs> and so I'm trying to take out those lone... Oh, right there the, the, the flag switched to half and half. Because I guess um, one of their units managed to infiltrate and boom! Um, I guess there was two mortars they launched into my position, but I quickly took out their troops and recaptured that victory location. Meanwhile, down here, I'm still trying to find an intelligent way of incorporating those units into the war. Um, I think I did a fairly decent job, all things considered. And... On the edge of the map, you can see those broken soldiers cowardly running away. <laughs> ah, I don't blame them. They're a bunch of kids. But the true veterans stay behind. And so, I was just checking out my command radius there. Making sure everything was tip-top shape. I'm just unloading into their position with the remainder of my troops and ammo. Uh, there's the more chargers, looks like a second wave, and this one is, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, it's a larger number of troops coming in on me, and at this point, I was very low on ammo, I remember, and, um, just having a difficult time repelling their waves, and so, but I did. I did. I slowed those guys down as you can see there. And the southern troops are doing a much better job. And if you look at the far right, you can see about three Russians just crawling their way. I guess they've also had enough of the war. And they're, they've decided to go home. Ooh, and there it ended. And if you give me one second... 
so that was the uh that was that <laughs> we managed to hold them off fairly decently they took that central victory location we held on to the higher ground um which is i guess not too bad we still have a really good position from which to defend next time and so uh so yeah guys uh sorry about the audio issue I actually went ahead and fixed the problem immediately after this battle so uh, there should be no more issues with that but um, yeah that was Manila we just played um, with the addition of random ambient war sound from World War 2 which I hope you enjoy <laughs> but summing up this map um, we basically killed a lot of Russians and they killed a little <laughs> just a few fins but worry not vengeance shall be ours and I can promise we will consider we will continue the murder of the communist Russian pigs so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one bye